A warm welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide quality care to our clients in the same way we would provide care to a loved one. This week is National Older Driver Safety Awareness Week, which was created in 2009 by the American Occupational Therapy Association. Each year, 257,000 older adults are severely injured in a car accident and 7,700 are killed. The goal of this week is to help our older drivers remain safe behind the wheel. Often the conversation of giving up the car keys is very difficult and finding the right time to approach this topic is tricky. Think about when you first got your driver's license. The feeling of freedom and independence was exhilarating and allowed each of us to be able to manage our own needs without feeling like we had to rely on someone for a ride. For anyone else, the thought of losing that independence can create a sense of uncertainty, and for our seniors, that feeling of uncertainty added to other physical limitations they may be experiencing is just too overwhelming. The time to talk about no longer driving can come up quickly for some families and could be a result of a newly diagnosed health condition or a new medication that affects your loved one's driving capabilities. For other families, the signs of an unsafe driver may come slowly and gradually due to things like memory loss, vision changes, or hearing loss. Some other things to look out for include driving speeds being too fast or too slow, a recent accident where your loved one was at fault, or you no longer feel safe as a passenger in the vehicle with them driving. I'm often asked the question, how do I start the conversation with my loved one? I always recommend that families choose one individual to have that conversation. It's very important that families avoid confrontation and putting their loved one in an uh, intervention style conversation with multiple family members present. You should try to pick a day, um, time of day when your loved one is a little more relaxed um, and in a good state of mind, like after a meal or maybe later in the day. You may want to also ask your loved one if they've seen changes in their abilities um, and make sure that you're providing specific reasons for your concern for their driving. In some situations, it may also be helpful to have a medical professional in on the conversation. Um, sometimes it's a little bit less of a blow coming from a third party professional rather than from a family member only. If your loved one does agree to give up driving, it's important to have alternative uh, transportation options available. Town transport services like Dial-A-Ride are available along with Uber and taxi services. And in some situations, this is a perfect time to introduce a home care provider like Always Best Care, who can help manage trips to the grocery store, getting in and around the store, um, or transportation to and from medical appointments, and having that care provider sit in on the appointments to provide accurate feedback to the family after the appointment if they're not able to attend. A home care provider um, can also give families peace of mind that their loved one is safe and allows that additional companionship in the home. If you think the time has come for the conversation of safe driving, make sure to keep these tips in mind. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time.